Here we go. Here's a cat in a hat. I've seen this movie maybe like 20, 50 times. Jeez. <laughs> Uh, okay, so long story short, I had this game, ever, I mean, not this game, the movie, the Cat in the Hat movie, uh, since I was like eight years old, I got it on DVD at like a Pathmark, which is like a, you know, a food store, it's like a grocery store. It was like five dollars at the grocery store, my mom's like, okay, I'm gonna buy you this movie, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna watch this movie every single day. You also have the game, too. I also have the game, which I bought brand new at a uh, vintage game store for like one dollar. And look, DreamWorks made it. Yeah, I, didn't, I actually didn't know that. Maybe it'd be in the uh, DreamWorks uh, cart racing game. Mike Mouse can't hat, you know? <laughs> oh, yeah, well, who else made this? Uh, imagine. I you can imagine. Later. <laughs> and then Universal Studios is the one who, uh, you know, published it. So, what's your favorite Dr. Seuss book? Um, I don't remember a lot of them. I remember reading, um,. I have good memories with, uh, what is it, the Green Fish, Blue Fish, whatever it's called? Yeah. Red Fish, Blue Fish. Yeah. Something. I have, like, I only have a, only have a cool memory of that, because I remember reading it, um, during a fireworks show. Or in a parade, a parade I have memories show. of reading. Alec Baldwin's in this? Yeah, he plays a villain in this. Oh. The villains? I don't remember the villains. Yeah, he's a villain. What, you know, you've seen this movie before? I've seen it once. Uh, and it, we didn't have it on DVD. I probably saw it... Uh, it was probably shown at school. Oh, I thought you never saw this film before. No, I've seen it once. Like, <laughs> but it's I've like seen vague it once. memories of it. Uh, yeah, I have fairly vague memories, and then I've seen the Nostalgia Critic Review like three times. <laughs> but yeah, the, um, the Dr. Seuss book I remember reading a lot as a kid was... Um, Wait, can the you... The Lorax. Like... What? Can you uh, turn like? Is is there any way to turn the volume up on, on your end? Because my volume's at full blast and it's still really quiet. Okay. Anyway, the go. the Doctor Seuss book I've been reading a lot when I was a kid was um, the Lorax, but uh, I didn't actually read it. I was using it like a um, a whale's waddle kind of book where I just look for the Lorax, see where he is in each page. That's cool. So I never even read the book as a kid. I was like, hey, where, where was the Lorax? There he is. Okay, flip the page. This what th that's what um that's what every concerned human was when COVID first hit. Yeah. This film holds up. Fun fact about this movie: the director never made a movie before this film. He only directed oh, a commercials. He only directed commercials. And after the Cat had success, uh, he never made a movie ever again. <laughs> he just went back to making commercials. Fair enough. <laughs> He's like, nope, I'm not doing this again. <laughs> I don't think mu I don't think much, you know, people would actually let him in. They'd be like, oh, you're the person who made the cat in the hat. Never mind. Well, he made commercials. He made a bunch of, um, I think, Universal Studios uh, amusement park commercials. I think that's uh, Dakota Fanning. Um, does Dakota Fanny play the girl from Spirited Away? In the no, dub? um, Dakota Fanning plays the girl in, um, um, Race to Witch Mountain with, uh, Dwayne the Wong Johnson. Oh, I remember that. I watched that, uh, I watched that a lot, although I don't remember anything from it. All I remember is, uh, the dog w won a meaty treat, and that's it. That's all I remember. Um, I remember watching it a lot because... Uh, my my grandma had a uh, a cam recording from the theater of it. Uh, I, 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 it. I guess she was a fan of the original uh, movie because uh, she probably remake. was. Yeah. yeah, the remake. I mean, the original is like from the sixties. That and Journey to the Center of the Earth, the remake. Uh, yeah. I watched those a lot on cam recorded DVDs. What about the uh, Land of Lost remake? Uh, no, I never watched that. Uh, uh, she was never a fan of uh, Land of Lost. Well, it. These were these weren't movies that she watched in theaters. These were movies that my uncle watched, and then he would cam record them and give oh, them gotcha. to my grandma. So anyway, uh, that's Beans from um, was it Even Steven, the TV show from Disney? Never watched that. Uh, Shia LaBeouf uh, was in it. It was like his oh. uh, his uh, his uh, forced acting gig. Was he Even or was he Steven? Uh, he was you know he was Steven. He was the main character. 
I really thought it was gonna go. Doo, 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 doo. I just was really doo, picturing. Doo, 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 yeah, I was really doo, doo, picturing doo, 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 the Simpsons. How exactly yeah. was it Do you like how um, that kid is wearing a, a Lorax T-shirt? It looks like you know uh, the oh. Harry Dr. Seuss uh, Lorax T-shirt. I don't know if that's just coincidence or not. Nah, they probably did it for the film. It's like, oh, oh, no, not a low X. They did it for the low. Yeah, no, they did it. Uh, if they can't have it successful, we, we would have got a live action low X film. Yeah, but instead we got that freaking awesome uh, Illumination movie. And it wasn't that bad. I I gotta say, uh, for, for because, and probably most likely because I watched it a lot when I was younger. No, he is. He's a villain. Oh, I thought he's a good guy. No, he's the villain. He's the husband, right? He plays himself. He plays Alec Baldwin. <laughs> Alec Baldwin plays Alec Baldwin in Cat in the Hat. No, it's a boss baby. Oh, yeah. Full scene boss, last scene baby. Yeah. This is acting. <laughs> Anything for my princess. Daddy's a little princess. Could he get a better looking milf for this film? Watch out, he's got a gun. Was that the joke? Is this was it, is that he was about to bring out a gun? <laughs> no. So I want to mention what? Thomas and the Magic Railroad was 2001. This is I think 2003 or four. 2003, yeah. Alec Baldwin was making awesome uh, movie decisions around this time. Really awesome decisions. Well, after you know the Shadow bombed, uh, he was you know losing his acting chops. The Shadow. Yeah, he was in the shadow. He played the shadow. I don't yeah. know what that is. You know, superhero the shadow. Lamont Cranston. I I don't know. Okay. It was a very very popular superhero back in the thirties. Oh, in the thirties? Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, um, he was like the number one most popular superhero of all time from the nineteen thirties to uh, I think nineteen sixty, and then afterwards uh, Batman overshadowed him, so uh, the shadow became gone. More thing. Oh, you know what? I wouldn't mind going to military camp as a kid. Would you? Uh, no, good. It's it's gonna be like it would be like um Phineas and Ferb. They teach you to uh. Teach you how to use a gun. Yeah, they teach you that being fun is bad. I think that's the only time in this film he wears glasses. <laughs> the only time. <laughs> Well, I don't even remember this guy from the movie. Guy's a total phony. You can't let I don't even remember. I don't even remember. This he only guy has from... like ten minutes worth of a screen time. Yeah, so. I don't even remember this guy from the Nostalgia Curve review. So, where's oh, Kate? It's Kate. Okay, Kate is one cow I, I I always forget about. He's only in that one scene. He's the catering guy. <laughs> Mrs. Quan, my favorite cow. Remember... Oh my gosh, I remember this. Whoa, that's so weird. That specific frame is like etched into my brain. Yeah. Do you like Mrs. Kwan? Doesn't she just sleep through everything? <laughs> yeah. Want us to be funny about uh, Mrs. Kwan? That's not an Asian woman playing hole. Is Mrs. Kwan supposed to be? Oh, I guess. Yeah, she's supposed to be Asian. And she does a convincing job, like, uh, if, if I de never knew about that, I, I wouldn't say anything otherwise that she's not Asian. I've tried a different mom. Well, sometimes I wish the same thing. It's weird. That got, like, that got weirdly angry dark. and, well, yeah, that got weirdly dark in a very short amount of time. Like, that kind of came out of nowhere. And now she's gonna go back and apologize, but then, like, nope, I gotta go. The mom in this film is hot. What are you talking about? Alec Baldwin's the real hot one. <laughs> <laughs> See, there he is. I'll, 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 I'll remember honey, that for the, later on in this film. The, all I'll the bring it back. The audience were going, Woo. <laughs> I'll bring it back when you see that Alec Baldwin's a hot one. I remember <laughs> that. And then you'll show the boss baby and you'll be like, I can't believe Jabmaster was a pedophile the entire time. <laughs> 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 that's real footage of uh, Taiwanese uh, Parliament. I mean, that's what they actually do in Parliament in Ta Taiwan. 
I freaking watch that. Since they do. I know they, they just fight each other <laughs> very often. <laughs> I'd sit there and be like, "Wow, babysitter, you're awesome. I want to. I want to keep watching this." Yeah, I didn't read much of the Doctor Seuss books. I was more into watching the animated specials. That I watched. I watched those a lot more. Uh, which ones? Uh, I freaking love the Lorax. I freaking love the. What is it? The Snorlax? What's what, what's the uh, the name of them? Where they like one has stars on their belly and they keep on trying to be like the other ones. Ah. Uh, do do, do you remember know. that? Yeah, I know what that is. I just don't know. Yeah, but yeah, I those two specifically. I remember watching a. You ever uh, watched oh, a Grinch. Grinch Night? Halloween Grinch. Uh, no, I didn't watch Grinch Night, but I did watch the original Grinch a ton. So you should watch Grinch Night. It's so bad. It's a one for night for eyebrows. That's what he Wait, says. Uh, yeah, I've heard that. I've heard that line before. Did you say that? Yeah, I said that before. That? <laughs> Literally, what happens in the Grinch special is that uh, he goes outside at night and says, "You know what? It's a one for night for eyebrows," and he just goes outside and kills people. <laughs> okay, shut up. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm not joking. He just goes outside like I'm gonna go kill people today because it's a one for night for eyebrows. He says, my eyebrows feel really good tonight. Oh no! No, yeah. it's... Mike Miles is a monster, yeah. So fun. <laughs> <laughs> I love that reaction afterwards. That could have gone better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so fun fact, uh, Tim Allen was the original choice for the Cat in Hatness film. But he couldn't do it, so Mike Miles stepped in. Yeah, he was too busy doing the Polar Express. No, Tim Allen. Oh, oh He was sorry. too busy doing Santa Claus 2. You know what? Both of their voices actually do sound similar. So. Tim Allen and uh, Mike Miles? Yeah. No? I, they could do the same voice. I could, like... I don't know. All I hear is uh, Shrek when I hear uh, Mike Miles' voice. Well, I mean, I, I don't really hear Shrek in this role. Who? Me? Listen. Why, I'm the cat in the hat. Eloy, yeah, I still, I still hear a distinct voice in this. Okay. His voice is deeper and more... I don't know how to say it, but... <laughs> you hopefully touched that. The cat has said, I, I got nothing. He said, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> And then he says, where did you come from? And he goes, I'll show you! And he takes out his little cat wiener. <laughs> he never explains how he got in here, though. How he got into the house. You know this, he'll bring it back. Okay, he just... Yeah, he just uh, broke off a hinge, I think. That was a dressing for one thing. That's my mom. Awkward. Yeah. Yes, this place will do quite nice. I knew that just <laughs> beforehand. That's why I'm not. That's why I'm not like. Where did the? Did he just keep that painting? <laughs> yeah, he just he keeps it. <laughs> you know what? At least seen that I showed you. Yeah, he keeps it. I also just love how the family house just has a picture of the mom that you can pull out and it's a full-on bikini picture. Well, that's for Al Bolin to use. Oh, it's for Al Bolin, but still, I don't know. Sit on babies? That's disgusting! <laughs> I do it for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely something the cat in the hat would say. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I mean, he does sit on babies in the book. Okay. I don't. I don't really get the joke. Is that supposed to be funny? The joke is that um, he can't change what happened in the past. So oh, okay. he got bed well because he he wet the bed in the past, and you can say you tapped him for Hamill, but it's nothing to change. He always did it in the past. <laughs> 
I, I so thought he was gonna like slap her across. I, the no, slap her in the face, and it goes all the way out through the window. This yeah, that's what, I was, window. that's what I was so expecting. I thought he was gonna be like perfect. They just slaps her in the face, <laughs> and then he says she's ever coming back. <laughs> and he looks at the kid and says, "You're next." <laughs> oh, he's singing. I didn't even realize this. Yeah. Yeah, it's a musical, dude. You know that. Never talk before. I know they can't have bomb to life, but by you know his existence. Before the scene, the the, the goldfish was just a normal goldfish, it wasn't a CGI monster looking thing. Here, wait. Um, can you pause for a second? Okay. I gotta go to the bathroom. Pause it on a great face. Ah. Oh. <laughs> well, this is literally the the best thing coming up next. Okay. This is a, a good face to pop back in on. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, Wait, welcome how, back, how James. Did, how far ahead did you skip? To... I, I like one second. Oh, okay. Oh, wait, so literally once. So this is immediately what happens after. Let's just continue off from here, yeah. <laughs> here we go. See? <laughs> so why did this happen? What? Why is? Because he's okay, cool. Back home where I was bred, he never listened to a single thing his mother said. He never used a litter box. He made a mess in the halls. That's why they sent him to a vet who cut off all his bones. Ha ha ha! I get the joke. It's funny joke. <laughs> Wait, I don't think that's funny. <laughs> See, I. I this is something that I find really strange because, like, what? I feel like if it wasn't the cat in the hat and it was just something else, yeah, it would be funny as kind of like a, uh, not a dark comedy, but um, like an adult comedy, like that that's like bordering on adult. Yeah, this this film um, is trying to be an adult comedy, but it's based on a kid's book, so it's weird. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm, I mean. You think he was the cat in that, in that uh, story? The cat that uh, wouldn't use a little box and made a mess in the hall, so it was sent to a vet to cut off his balls. I don't want to look at you anymore. <laughs> Why? Come on, look at the cat hat. He's right there. The purebred cats may doubt you. I'm not gonna lie, this is gonna be weird. What? I actually think I like the cat in the hat's costume more than the Grinch's. I do, too. Yeah. Because I, I mainly, I don't like the Grinch's fingers. They're to like me, the Grinch looks hairy. scary in the, uh, the, in the uh, film. Well, the cat in hat, it looks less scary. Although I will say that, like, you know, Jim Carrey can do the, the faces better. Yeah. So maybe Jim Carrey, so maybe these roles maybe might have been swapped? Maybe Jim Carrey should have played this, or, I don't know. I, Mike Miles I can't like play an evil guy. <laughs> <laughs> Although I feel like, yeah, I do feel like Jim Carrey would play this role better because he's more bombastic. I mean, yeah. Just have Jim Carrey play all of them: the Grinch, Cat Hat, <laughs> Full in Universe, the Lorax. I will, I will admit, Danny DeVito playing the Lorax is probably, it, in my opinion, in live so action. We'll do that in live action. <laughs> 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 so yeah, they have to sign a contract so he can't get sued. <laughs> Wait, what? I, I just don't realize he has kind of an accent. Like they're my lawyers. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it's like a Boston accent. I like how he shakes his hand with you. Come on, sign it. I like how all the lawyers have the same type of mustache. I mean, they look Dr. Seussian. You gotta admit. <laughs> okay, I, I, I like that. That was funny. Scratch this. Anyway, this film implies that that speed and noodle uh, license or certificate is fake. Because, uh, you know, he's attracted to the mom, which means uh, he still has his balls, you know? So he, he lied about that certificate just to be with kids, because uh, he can't be around kids if he's not speed and noodled. I don't know what we're talking about. Let's just move on. <laughs> I'm talking about the certificate that said he was spaded and noodled, which means he's both. That scene popped up for like 
two seconds. I didn't even get to read what was on it. It's a licensing that he he got his balls cut and he got his um his eggs removed, which means he's both fe male and female. Oh, he took his hat off. Yeah. No, he's got his hat on. It's his cat. That's his hat. There you go. Okay. I, I, oh, okay. I don't like that. <laughs> well, he said he's sorry. I like how these two actors have no idea how to work with us. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, we just watched us. Down different. I mean, like they, they both might be like good actors elsewhere, but they just they they don't know how. To... Yeah, they killed Fanning's a good actor. Oh, the beans yeah, kid like... sucks. Yeah, I feel like Dakota Fanning's doing a little bit better. Then again, I mean, I don't know. I haven't seen too many of her films, but I think she won a couple of awards. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna look it up real quick. I think she's literally my age. This feels like a Tim Allen skit. Like, this was something made for Tim oh, Allen. Oh, she was in a movie. This She was in The Equalizer 3. Oh, I, I never know. So she's still doing... Oh, she was Coraline. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's, she's still doing work. Good for her. She was in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood as well, so... Yeah, I've yeah. seen that film. So, yeah, I guess she still gets good roles. It's nice. Yeah, that's how I say Wahoo. I go, Wahoo! You know, CGI in this film is really good. I believe that's a fish. <laughs> oh, yeah, the same guy who plays that guy plays a fish. If you didn't know. Oh! It's the same exact voice, too. That's a stylist. There he is, it's Alec Bolin. Oh, I thought this guy was a robber. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he came to mug them while the guy has this. No one likes a kiss up. Ugh. Get out of the close ups of this Alec Baldwin. There you go. Also, I don't like how I can see his chest hair. That's gross. I thought you said he was hot in this film. No, I said all, all, those, all the women thought it was like hot. And that's why they came to see it. That's also why they came. <laughs> that's, oh, that's why this film made a lot of money. Oh, look, you got Beale. Yeah. Beale advertisement. Officially licensed, too. What are you two looking at? Yeah, see? <laughs> oh, he's using his claws to, like, cling. How? Oh, I, I guess it makes sense because he's in a little sock right there. See it? So he's holding on to that. So. It's a really good roll that he took. I I, I, I wonder if Alec Baldwin's proud of this. <laughs> I think he's more proud of the boss, baby. Oh, actually, he is proud of this. He's, he's in the comic to attack of this film. He, he's more proud of the uh, of the boat that he uh, bought with, with the money. So in the commentary track for his film, it's both Alec Baldwin and the Dwagdoll. And Alec Baldwin is clearly drunk throughout the entire commentary track. <laughs> That's great. That sounds great. <laughs> it is funny. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Uh, is this a parody of something? Um, Like the specific, you know, the specific... Care like the what we're seeing right here. Yeah, it's like a, a cooking show. Well, yeah, but like, oh, I thought it was like possibly a parody of a specific cooking show, but no, it's a vague one. I think it's good eats. It's supposed to okay, be now good. that's Shrek. Yeah. Yeah, I think they're trying to make fun of good eats for the the one guy, but he doesn't have the same hair on design, just the voice. I'm so excited. Have anything? Yeah, I love how he he, he puts on a slightly different accent, and now he is Shrek. Yeah. This, yeah, he's this, just this. Shrek. I told you he he just has a Shrek voice. Well, yeah, but I see like without he's putting on a slightly different accent here. Well, that escalated really fast. He just threatened to kill that guy. Okay. With the glass too? Okay. <laughs> I'll eat that. Mm, that looks good. Where did the purple come from? Like nothing you put in there was actually purple. <laughs> I'm, not gonna, I, I, I'm laughing at its stupidity. How many kids do you think got poisoned doing this? Like making what, cupcakes out of it. Yeah, yeah they, they look at the scene and went, went like, I, I, I want to make cupcakes out of anything. 
And then they did, and they got poisoned. What about it? Oh, I see. Ram, how about you just, uh... Hang in there, baby. <laughs> how, about, how about you just do all the audio for this? I'm just saying we have a case. We'll talk later. Fix me. You like this scene? He just broke the fourth wall. He was telling them that he was thinking about suing the, the filmmakers of this movie oh, because uh, he got injured. Oh. That's a joke. That's what I said. They're done. I don't think they ever actually eat the cupcakes in this. There's no trying, there's doing. I said that to my friend once. <laughs> oh, he just did the tail thing again. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? And he's doing fine. Look, I'm a girl. Right? Look, you trans now. <laughs> what, this filthy thing? This filthy thing? Honey, it was ruined when she bought it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> ten out of ten. I'm giving this film a ten out of ten. I just You love this film now? I love it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm freaking having fun with it. I mean okay. Viva Rock Vegas. It doesn't was, seem like it though, because he's not laughing as much as Viva Rock Vegas. Well, I I'm genuinely enjoying it. I'm just not like laughing at like screaming right now. I'm I'm actually having a really fun time with it. You wanna know another good comedy you might en actually enjoy a lot? Anchorman but, two. We should watch Anchorman two one day. Uh I really well first off, we need to watch Anchorman one. Anchorman but, one is not as funny as Anchorman two. You don't need to watch Eggman 1 to get Eggman 2. But I've heard it's really, really good. Eggman 2 is like a non-stop funny comedy. Like, literally every single line is a funny joke. Maybe we might watch that next time. For like the first 30 minutes, it's non-stop Oh, laughing. I remember these guys. They gave me... These guys are scary. Fun fact, those are two uh, Finnish... Uh, wait, Finnish... Um, goals. Twin goals. Playing the, the two things. And they don't speak English, the, the Finnish girls. So imagine being in a film where you don't speak the language and everyone's telling you to act. I mean, I'm out from a Dr. Seuss book, so the imaginary Philippines location. <clears throat> Who's featured in his, one of his other books? To Live in the Philippines. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's called, To Live in the Philippines. So, what do you let the cat in a hat hang out in your house? I don't want these characters. Get these <laughs> characters off the screen. Jeez. Once they're gone, the film will be much better. Oh, they have some funny jokes. No, they look disgusting. <laughs> like, I hate their faces. So, you're saying they should kill themselves? Yes. Because they're ugly. <laughs> Suck them up with a vacuum cleaner and throw them, you know. What would you do if the cat in a hat broke in your house, though? What what would you do? If if what? Sorry. Like if they can't have book in your house, what would you do to have fun with them? Honestly, I would just wait until it ended. <laughs> <laughs> you would try to sleep, and he would, he would try to wake you up every few minutes. Like, hey, you want to do something? You know, I'd occasionally answer his questions, but mostly I'd just sit. <laughs> you say, hey, you want to play Sonic Boom with me? And they kind of has like, fine, okay. Put the dog down. Okay. Was the needle? At least we. At least we know what the dog doing. Yeah, but we gotta put the dog down. We gotta get the needle. Bazinga! Oh, they did it! They said the line before the line was even said. They're playing football. Look, like it's Ale Bud. <laughs> I'm surprised they weren't didn't make an Air Bud joke. Uh, I think Ale Bud was like one year. Actually, this year, 2020. Uh, yeah, wait. I think, yeah, Ale Bud was from 2020. So, yeah. Yay, the things are gone. Oh, look, we got uh, a hot album. What? Uh, uh, 
<laughs> I told you I was gonna bring it back. You said he was this hot, what, right? Yeah, this is what all the ladies love. It look, it look, it looks like glam mouse. Yeah. I mean, that's not a, a fake belly. That's his real belly. How does he still have a phone line if he can't even afford cable? This this is this this isn't even an acting role. It's just Al Bone just being himself. Oh. Gross. Get out, blow it up. Okay. <laughs> no, just him being himself. It wasn't even acting. Honestly, what? Okay. You know what? When when the cat is the focus, it's honestly like stupid funny for me. I, I like I end up laughing a lot. Yeah. But whenever there are any other things like when Alec Baldwin comes like in, like thing one and thing two. Yeah. Whenever the things come in, whenever something like that happens, it becomes. Not good. Terrible. <laughs> yeah, my mouse is holding this entire film up. Yeah, just make the kids and the cappy the entire movie, and sure, the fish. Why not? Let's just throw them in there. Well, the fish has the fish one there? really funny joke, but it's in a delete scene. They should have kept that one joke of the 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 fish from the delete scene. It's really funny. How has nobody else seen a cat? Why is it a giant cat? <laughs> now he's gonna kill him. <laughs> 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 oh, I remember that from the Nostalgia Critic Review. Nice and kiss it. <laughs> Come on, you gotta kiss Dory Ho. I mean, believe it or not, that one scene with the uh, the, the the garden hoe um, that gets like censored and deleted from uh, any airings on TV, and it's still way TV fourteen on TV. Oh, because he says hoe. Yeah, but there's a lot of scenes that gets removed. Even this scene gets removed in um, TV broadcasts, and it's still TV fourteen even without it. Which means if you keep it in, it's TV MA, <laughs> the highest rating. No, <laughs> like he's hanging. <laughs> it's hanging by the neck. <laughs> the best part of the film. Hey, it's this one. <laughs> like the unicorn in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that was a huge moment in the Nostalgia Critic Review, is when... But once again, he got hit in the balls and he, he screamed really loud, which means he's not noodled. Which means that uh, certificate that he showed the kids is a lie, and he only uh, had that certificate to just say, allow him to uh, you know hang out with kids because he's not allowed new kids if he's not you know. <laughs> yeah, child murder, kill him. <laughs> I mean, he deserves it. He kicked him in the balls. <laughs> well, no, she's off the crate. The little angels. <laughs> oh no, the demons! <laughs> no, the demons are getting unleashed. Oh my god. And and that's the world that the game takes place in, right? Like yep. The... Whoa, it's 2D animation. I mean, it's flash animation. All they do is make it blink. Oh, it's an despicable me car. Yeah. Oh, you mean? No, quick to the slope. Now you want to drive a car called shit? Yeah, totally. If Mike Myers says it's cool, then I'll do it. <laughs> I like the little bobble pet. Oh, you got goggles on now. Oh, he's got a little hole for the hat. That's nice. That was definitely necessary. Yeah, so how does nobody see this? <laughs> they just don't care. <laughs> Like, oh yeah, a kid driving away with a cat, yeah. Oh, here's the best scene. <laughs> Why did he sniff it? <laughs> that's, that's, that's a, a good talk that about Kamal. That's a line that should be in the history books. I can't believe you wisdom my taco. I mean, he was ordering Taco Bell. That was Taco Bell uh, tacos that he got. So, good Taco Bell commercial. It totally got me to buy some Taco Bell right now. 
<laughs> Except Ed won't drive. <laughs> <laughs> What, a, me a metal wheel? <laughs> a chain wheel. Yeah, once again, everyone just doesn't care. Yeah. That, wo that woman over there with a the bob haircut, she doesn't care. You don't think I noticed? <laughs> you're, you're honing in on the bob haircuts, you're like... Choo, choo, choo. Rhode Island Lies is play, you never see those. Oh, that's very useful, having a, an airbag in your hat that doesn't cover your face. Supposed to fly him forward. I wet my jar. You do that again? Oh. Uh, plan B. Cut your losses and ditch the kids. Did you get that joke? <laughs> plan B is known as a uh, you know a condom joke. Oh, yeah, okay, I got it. So, it, you take plan B as a pill to make sure you don't have kids. Okay, okay. Don't but I, I also <laughs> find it funny in the context of him where, yeah, he just, like, leaves. But I find both those... But yeah, they're both... I actually like that joke. It's funny. I'd like you to sign my petition. Yeah. There's a Get out of my way, you hippie freak. <laughs> Are you aware of the <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would say something. <laughs> it's not something I expected Alec Baldwin to say in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he can't hold a dog. He has a like hold. It says it on the pen. That's great. Okay, but I will happily hold your canine American. This is very progressive. More comfortable with that. You stole the cat. The dog. Hey, he still with one it, hand. Yeah, <laughs> he's a pro. <laughs> I guess he just did it just to say, "Hey, look, I don't need two hands with this." Well, okay. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Well, you didn't think it'd be a, like a nightclub or a day club down here. Look, it's Paris Hilton. Do you know who Paris Hilton is? No, but I do find it funny how this is happening. Uh, you ever seen Sweet Life of Zack and Cody? Uh, a little bit. I don't remember much of it. Uh, do you know the Asian witch school? Nope. Okay. Do you know <laughs> how the hotel is called a Tipton Inn? Yeah. Okay, so the Tipton Inn is owned by the Witch Girl in the show. And the Witch oh, Girl okay. is a parody of uh, Paris Hilton, who Paris Hilton's dad owns uh, the Hilton Inns. So, oh. so they own, you know, the hotels. I know the Hilton Inn from uh, from Furfest or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, they can't house in now. Hey, Furfest. So? Paris Hilton has his hat. He has to go back now. It never come back. And what if this movie ends of uh, the guy in hat falling in love with and marrying the mom? Wouldn't that be a good ending? Then they have a bunch of cat babies. <laughs> Humanoid cat babies. And then he does plan B. <laughs> just plan B. <laughs> Ditches everyone. <laughs> it's like, I yeah, just he, got the. No, as soon as she gets pregnant and gives both to his uh, cat kids, he leaves. And never comes yeah, back. Yeah, he, he keeps the folder for later just in case. <laughs> yeah, he does. Is the movie almost over? Uh, yeah. Wow, this is a short movie. Things were just getting... you, you still gotta go for the, uh, you know, the, the dimension jump zone, but yeah. Dimension jump zone. <laughs> the, yeah, the, the phantom zone. Oh no, she's gonna, getting covered in news. Gonna catch them all, cause he's cat- ah. Well, the phantom zone is from Superman, but they reused the name for, um, freaking, um, well, they didn't call it the Phantom Zone and Danny Phantom. They called it the Ghost Zone. So oh, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's a it's a parody of you know the Phantom Zone from uh, Superman, but uh, they call it the Ghost Zone for the Danny Phantom. May I take a license? You <laughs> take the license, eats it. <laughs> yeah. And get do the Heimlich. Why'd you eat the lice? <laughs> well, that seems not too bad for the things. Let's have the things do that and that's it. Nothing else. That'd be me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> there we go. He's dead! Woo! <laughs> 
What, what was that face for? Uh, because everyone was looking at him like, come on, fix this mess, can hand. He's like, okay, fine. That's what that face is like. Okay, fine, I'll stop being funny. Oh, here's the best part. Here he comes. <laughs> A famous wide. Wide the Quan. Yes. Mrs. Quan's my fake cat. I know the choke. I know the choke that's pop pop up. I I remember it. What? Why the Quan? Not where he goes. You know, this is like a ride at Universal Studios. Cha-ching! Yeah. I remember that. <laughs> Wanna go take a dump on that toilet? You know, I feel like there was a Cat in the Hat ride at Universal Studios. So. Uh, yeah, there was, but it wasn't this wide. Universal Studios. <laughs> like, imagine if they had the Why the Quan ride at <laughs> I, Universal Studios. I hate that joke, but I find it funny. It's so memorable. I know, it's funny. I'll just occasionally remember that. I'll, I'll, like, I'll remember the Universal Studios joke. Ten more minutes. <laughs> Yeah, like, you know how long it's going to take to do the Heimlich for that? I'm surprised they didn't make this dimension um, area more longer for the film. Like, even the lead scenes, they even linger on this scene for too long. It's like, let's ride the Quan for a little bit, and that's it. That's all you do in the dimension of, you know, Mother of All Messes. Oh, this is a sad scene. She could die. Yeah, she dies. Yeah, she dies and never comes back. It's like Jumanji, she gets stuck in that dimension forever. And then she's like yeah, 30 years old and video comes... game to get her out. Yeah, they have to go back and open up the crate again with the cat and hat. And then she's like 30 years old and she survived in that uh, Mother of All Messes land for like, you know, 20 years. And she meets Bar Robin Williams. You know what? Robin Williams would make a good cat in a hat. They should have gotten him for this film. You know what? Uh, you know, confession. I like Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle more than the original. What, the, uh, like the, the Dwayne the Rock Johnson version? Why? Yeah, because I thought it was funny. I, I, I didn't think it's that good. But the video game has a classic. You know, the, the Jumanji video game for the uh, Xbox One, PS4. You know, so. I want to buy that. It it, looks, it, okay. It's a Fortnite ripoff, and it's not good. It's full cast. Oh, they made a new one though, and it plays like Shrek 2. Oh wow! They made they made like like they made. It doesn't play like Shrek 2. It, pl it plays like uh, the Adams Family game. It plays the whole Touch Transylvania game. It's the same exact full player formula. It plays like Robotic Revenge. It's that kind of game. But, yeah, well, yeah, but still, I love that. So okay, I want to buy it. I love that new ball smell. Uh, actually, oh wait, 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 no, I think it's about to come out. I don't think it's come out yet. What about the Grinch game? Are you gonna buy that one? I'm not buying that. <laughs> Even on clearance? Come on. Yeah, Jumanji Wild Adventures comes out November 3rd. Okay. Did you buy the Adams your, Family game that's yet? That's your sponsor for this video. Did you buy the Adams Family game yet? Uh, no, I wanna buy it at some point. You should get it. That one's probably decent. Because of the atmosphere. Like, you do a lot of, uh, you know, a hall, you know, like, a, a haunted mansion, like, atmosphere for, uh, you know, level design. But for like a jungle, like you, all you guys are jungle, it's kind of boring. Why would you tell the cat it had to leave now when everything is destroyed? Look around, cat. You were right. It's fun, cow's fun, but you have to know how. That's like telling you your doctor to leave when in the middle of surgery, you know? How about Sue? Sue the cat in the hat. That's how this movie should end, just Sue the cat in the hat. Yeah, what was the loyals? Talk to the loyals, tell them uh, the cat in the hat scooped the house and. They want to sue. Oh yeah, the fish never becomes normal again. The fish is just a CGI thing for the rest of the film. I don't know why. It's like once it meets a cat in a hat, it becomes a CGI thing, and that's it. I oh, know the cat in a hat's back. Time for murder. Time for Smash Mouth. Wait, does does they do they actually have a song in this? Yes, they sing a Beatles couple. 
And it's not even a good Beatles song. The song sucks. Here comes the Smash Mouth song. Well, it's a cover of a Beatles song. And it's an obscure Beatles song. Like, no one talks about this Beatles song. I like how the things now know how to clean, even though before they were just trashing the house, you know? Yep. Like, how do they learn to clean now? I thought they, they screwed up before. All the coins. It's getting better all the time. How do they fix the bo broken plates? Do they just buy new plates? You combine them all together. No, no. <laughs> doesn't even look like they're broken anymore. Mrs. Kwan's the best cow in this film. I actually seen a YouTube video where someone just talked about Mrs. Kwan and talked about how she's the best cow in this film. I forgot who Not did real. it, but it's some woman on YouTube did a video on how Kwan's the best cow. It's not real. <laughs> it is real, I can show you the or, video. Or it's completely for a joke. No, she loves this film because of Mrs. Kwan. <laughs> and I do agree, she's a fun cow in this film. <laughs> I like that joke. I I, so, I sort of missed it, but I I heard it. So yeah. Looks like everything's in balance, but you're still smoking way As all things dark. should be. You lay off this sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe this film's a, a serious film about uh, a little girl who has a smoking addiction and a, a boy who keeps drinking alcohol a lot. Yep. I never knew that. Yep. She smokes weed every day. <laughs> And I'm keeping this photo of your mom. <laughs> That's <what> me. <laughs> hey, he never gives it back. <laughs> That's why I'm saying this movie should have ended with him marrying the mom. It would have made sense. <laughs> like, mom, you know you like boys, right? Well, here's a guy. <laughs> They're just little angels. Look, it's a purple man from Five Minutes of Freddy's. Oh. He says, hello, hello. It's okay, Alec Baldwin. Go back to Sodor. You're terrible. <laughs> sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. What if, uh, what if the lady in the background said yes? <laughs> Mrs. Kwan said yes. She goes, well, she I likes like a bite. Well, I, mean, I want a bite out of that. <laughs> she would vote for Joe Biden. So what did you kids do today? The remains of uh, the Ken hat. No, no, no. That those cupcakes are made of the main remains of Ben Affleck. The Alec Baldwin. Yeah, or sorry, Ben Affleck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dale Devil. Uh, Batman, that guy. Why was that the voice? The the name that came up. How they get so smart? How they get so smart? And that's how the movie ends. So, uh, how do you, what do you feel about the cat hat? Is it the best film well, to watch? here's the thing. <laughs> it is the most amount of fun out of all the movies we watch. It is not the best movie we've watched. <laughs> it's not the most... I, I thought, uh, Flintstones v Walk Vegas is still the best one we watch. In terms, in terms of, of like, fun. In terms of fun. In terms of fun, I'd say this is my favorite, but in terms of movie movie, I'd say Speed Rage is my favorite. Like, in just an actual good movie, I'd say Speed Rage is my yeah. favorite. And then, Fr Flintstones is a, is a close second after this. Okay. Uh, the Karate Dog is the worst, <laughs> by far. I did not enjoy it at all. I hated the Karate Dog. <laughs> Um, and being John Malkovich was a close second for worst because I hated being John Malkovich. You hate that film? I thought those. I thought you liked the monkey. I love the monkey, but the monkey's only like thirty seconds. It's <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you the deleted scenes now. Yeah, let's watch the deleted scenes. Let me just grab it. But yeah, I enjoyed this film. I I watch it like once every year. Oh, the Grinch Grinches the Cat in the Hat. How yeah. can Grinch be used as a, uh, what does that mean? Uh, it means to, uh, F-U-C-K. <laughs> you could have just said the word and... <laughs> oh, are you recording this? Yeah, YouTube, uh, bleeps that kind of stuff.